welcome to the Motown India show. We have here with us the styling guru of cars, and that's Peter Schreyer from Kia Motors. I'm going to ask him a few questions about what they're going to bring in here in what style. Peter, welcome to India. Thank you. You know, if you can tell us, I mean, you've been in the industry for a very long time, right from the Audi TT to the Kia cars and now to the Kia Stinger. Now, when you do so much of hard work, does it involve a lot of people, your own talents, the talents of your team? How difficult is it? Well, uh, design is always teamwork. And for, for my job, you know, it is like being a coach or a conductor uh, in a team. We have to help and lead the team in, in the right direction. So there's a lot of people involved. We have uh, specialists, you know, for the exterior design, for the interior, engineers, um, uh, for color and trim, for the materials, uh, to have a nice atmosphere with inside the car. That's very important too. So there's, there's a lot of people involved. Okay, and now we're going to have a car very soon. I mean, tomorrow to be precise, we're going to launch the, an India SUV, a kick concept now. When you talk of an India car and India SUV, is it very India specific or is it global specific? How does it work? Is it a car only for India or is it for the world? How does it work? Um, in this case, it will be a car only for India that's built in India. But when, when, I, when I design a car, I always look at it also from a global perspective so that the design is really um, at a level and uh, taste wise. It, it, can, uh, 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 it can be um, successful all over the world. But um, the cars that we are doing for the Indian market, we really want to care about India too, about the Indian customers. This is why we study. Also, this is why I'm here, to see how do people live here, what are their wishes, their expectations, to understand um, what people want. So what are, the, what are the elements that influence you in designing a car? Is it, you know, we, we hear of cars that look like animals, the panther, the lion. <laughs> uh, what influences designers like you? Um, well, I, you know, we, as designers, first of all, for us it's important to, um, <coughs> to make something um, that uh, uh, is appreciated by the customers, by, by people. And we have a lot of influences coming from, from, from all kinds of directions. So we look a lot at, at art, at architecture, uh, what is going on in fashion, what, what new sports are coming up, um, sports equipment maybe, uh, even uh, uh, music or art. You know, it, it's all things when, when you travel. Uh, uh, I, I'm traveling a lot because of my job. And it's always things that you see about the culture. When you design cars, as you move up, up the ladder, you have expensive cars and when you design them, it looks beautiful. But India is a mass market, cars are more, I won't say cheaper, but they are more at an affordable level for the masses. So it doesn't become difficult for a person like you or designers like you to envisage or, or, or design a car that is, can be made very attractive at the lower end of the market. I think this is... Uh... This is especially the one thing uh, I love to do and that is important. Um, because I want every customer, no matter which size or type of or price range of cars they are buying, um, and this is why for me also the interior is very important. I want every customer or everybody when they enter, the, step into the car in the morning and, and they, they, they sit in the car and you see the interior, that you have a kind of, you know, like a rewarding feeling and say, they thought about me. You know, this is really, I get a lot for my money. And, and uh, this way also Kia, we have a very high, uh, a very good, good quality. We, we put a lot of emphasis on, 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 on perceived quality, um, which is really difficult to make if you have also consider a certain price level. But um, I want and I, and I try and I really, do every car and treat it like a, a, a premium car. So, so uh, you get that kind of feeling in your car and I think this is something that's really uh, uh, is important for me. Peter, I'll ask you again. You've been to India, I guess, earlier. <clears throat> you just mentioned that uh, you were here last July. And uh, I want to ask you, have you been around India 
Have you seen? Yeah, yeah I have not seen enough. I, I think I, I want to see some more and we're going to make some more trips within the next days. But um, when I was here last time, we went to Taj Mahal, which was really very impressive to me. I, 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 it, it was a, a long lasting impression that, that, that I really have. And I had some very, really nice, one nice uh, experience and one, one interesting experience because we had a, a, a guide. It was a young man, very, very uh, nice guy. Ajum was his name. And uh, on the way back, I, you know, uh, because you see cars on the street and I've been thinking, you know, what could be really suitable for the Indian market. And, and I, I said to him, Ajum, what, what would be your dream car? Expecting that he would say, yeah, it's a sports car or something like this. And he said, an SUV, this is what I want. And that, you know, that was his thing. And, and uh, this also gave me kind of a, 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 an inspiration or a push. And uh, this is what I, I think about now when we, when we show the SP concept. It has a little bit of this inspiration in it uh, that I got when I was here. Wonderful, wonderful. And just a couple of more questions, and they're very short. And, uh, one is as we move on now we see that by 2020 and 2030 the car industry or in fact the entire automobile industry would be radically changing more towards skewed towards electric vehicles. Would that mean there will be more challenges for designing a car because of course a lot of engine and stuff goes off and more space is created here and there. So does, does it open up a new chapter completely in design? I think at the moment the car industry really is in a, in a big transformation process. It's, it's very interesting times because uh, the time, uh, looking all over my career, it was always like an evolutionary process. So the cars of course are a, a, a hundred times more complex and, and uh, quality wise a lot better than they were 30 years ago or 20 years ago. But now there's a lot of new technologies coming up and, and a lot of new challenges. And, that, and this is something that makes our job interesting. You know, of course it is, it's a challenge and it's not so easy to, to work with all of these things, but also it's something that will uh, um, bring us to a next level. Okay, That's okay. one last question more on a personal friend. When you type the words Peter Schreier and Wikipedia gives you a lot of information, he's a man who loves to dress in black, black spectacle, black stuff. <laughs> now the, the song which I heard of Johnny Cash, Man in Black, why black? You love it? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, people ask me this question very often and uh, I don't know, at one point I just started to do this like, I don't know, it was maybe 20 years ago or something and, and uh, I started to do it as to be kind of different from the others, but uh, but also, you know, for in our job, you will see many, you see many artists or architects, they do this too. You're dressed in black as well. And it makes you less um, important in front of your work. So if, you know, if you stand next to whatever it is, a, or in my case, it's a car, um, I don't want people to say who is the guy in the checkered suit in front of this car, you know. I, I, it should be the other way around, so a bit, to stand a bit more in the, in, the, in the background, so to say, or be a bit more neutral compared to the actual object. But um, there's another thing that why it's very practical too, you know, I travel a lot. And uh, when I pack my, my suitcase, it's very easy because, you know, every time I don't need to think about like which tie goes with which shirt and, and the socks and everything. Just, uh, and you know, I was joking with my wife and she says, which suit do you want to take? And I would say, maybe the black one. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the All right. Thank yeah, so I was. Thank you.